Hey, this is Zach with Iron Oak Farm. It's been about four or five days since we cut a few acres of hay. Everything looks good, so we're going to get the baler on and start baling. <laughs> got the old Massey Ferguson hay baler out from the back. I pulled her up here. We're going to get her greased up. We got a couple low tires. Uh, we got a few things we got to grease and lube up. Uh, tighten some things up. Clean her out a little bit. We got to get the baling twine installed and strung up and then we can start baling. <music> Got most of everything lubed up pretty good, so let's get bailing twine installed and laced up so we can start bailing.
this right here is the needle and there's an eye in the needle you thread that through and this needle goes through goes through the bale of hay goes up to the knotters up at the top ties it off and then yanks the the baling twine back down ready for the next bale are always kind of messed up the knotters need to be uh, well just kind of worn in broken in I wax them when we're, we're done the, the actual knotters they need to be kind of smooth and this is the this is the garbage we get out of the first few bales on each side um, and it just it just cuts the line doesn't tie it but after one we took off um, we took off this junk ripped that out of there um, lubed everything up again and now we've got good knots on two bales. So we should be in pretty good shape. We'll, we'll probably, uh, this, this knotter on this side tends to give me a little trouble no matter what I do. And every once in a while it'll drop a bale. It'll drop like three bales at a, uh, in a row and then get 30 good bales. So. We'll be dropping a few bales here and there. Not a big deal. It's the de it's just what you deal with when you're using um, equipment from well, 60 years ago, 50, 60, 70, 80, uh, 80 years ago. So uh, we're gonna keep on baling, and hopefully we'll get some good bales, and then we'll pick them up with the hay wagon. <laughs> So I looked back to see this, thought I'd lost some knots, and weirdly enough, it just made one gigantic bale about six foot long, and it did knot it, it just did, both sides. So I guess the knotter's working, but the, uh, the mechanism 
that rolls through the hay that trips this once this gets up and it hits this notch down here it trips um, the knotters and for whatever reason it wasn't working but it seems like it's okay weird stuff like this happens once in a while but no big deal we'll yank that out and just rebale it got all the bales on the wagon every one of them fit except for uh, four or five extremely long ones that are a little unstable to do anything with we'll get those later uh, we had uh, really good weather it wasn't hot too hot a lot of Sun it dried up in four days that was good so if you like um, all the cool home city adventures we do out here please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time